what a beautiful morning birds are chirping and uh, sun is shining and uh, Lord is still our Lord and uh, we realize that uh, just as we've been in our study with David and his reign as king and uh, each and every day of his reign I'm sure he realized the same thing that each one of us realized that uh, there's more for us in the Lord always and uh, just the beautiful sunshine and his creation uh, tell us how he has more he made everything for his pleasure in his pleasure we are created and I thank the Lord for that and uh, it's a beautiful uh, warm summer like morning May 1st we're in May the April showers have brought the May flowers and uh, it's so so nice up here at uh, our property First Bible Baptist Church ADP Sports Park it's beautiful the uh, the trees are blooming and the flowers are blooming and, and it smells beautiful when you smell the flowers and so uh, this is God's beautiful creation that's the uh, the earth around us that he has made the fullness thereof we are his beautiful creation as well in Jesus Christ he made us and then in the fall of man and our condemnation because of our sin he said I'll send my Savior my son the Lord Jesus Christ for you and when you and I receive Christ as Savior remember oh how beautiful that was and we can live in that fresh salvation every day the reminder of the healing and changing and ever new uh, life in Christ through the gospel so this is our morning together and uh, thank you church First Bible Baptist Church family for being devoted to the Lord and having your devotions this morning and having your time in communing with the Lord and uh, this morning I uh, I just wanted to look at Psalm 39 one verse and then just kind of encapsulate the whole a psalm around it I read uh, Psalm 39 verse 13 the last verse of that psalm uh, in our message on Sunday post-op recovery <clears throat> and how David realized that um, he needed to to get back with the Lord and he did and as he wrote Psalm 32 and Psalm 51 in those time frames and other repentant and penitent Psalms this Psalm um, was written at a different time but it does have um, a great application for us because of the statement recover strength David said in verse number 13 of Psalm 39 oh spare me that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more and this psalm includes another uh, verse speaking of um, the frailty and the brevity of life and the recognition by David of how much he needed the Lord's strength to recover him it says in verse number four Lord make me to know mine end the measure of my days what it is that I may know how frail I am do you realize how frail you are yes I'm sure you do uh, there's some days where you and I are so strong uh, so tough and we think about strength and we think about recovering from things that we've gone through maybe even recovering from um, some medical procedures some surgery and we realize boy I just want to get back to being a hundred percent healthy and like an open heart surgery where someone has this uh, scar in their chest or whether it was an orthoscopic surgery on your shoulder there's scars that are left and a reminder that uh, there was surgery there but we want to get our strength back we want to have our physical capabilities back and so when we think about strength oftentimes we think about our physical strength we think of our mental strength we think often of our emotional strength uh, our financial strength in the home the strength of our our family unit all of those things and in this time that we're living in right now where it seems the the world and the quote powers that be in this world uh, are attacking the strength that we have we're reminded of the strength we have in the Lord and Jesus Christ in his own life showed us as he walked as the Son of God and the Son of Man what it meant to have spiritual strength to have strength in the Holy Ghost to have strength in the Spirit of the Lord have strength through the Father's relationship he had and of course for us 
we recognize, just like David, in our recovery time from open heart surgery, that that spiritual heart surgery God's done, we need to recover strength. David said in that Psalm 39, verse number two, I was dumb with silence. Ever been in a place where you've been just silent and overtaken and there's nothing you can say spiritually, you're just silent. Sometimes that's a good place to be, especially in our recovery with the Lord. And then he says that verse four, Lord, make me to know mine end. And he's reminded of this heavy heartedness that comes when we're down, we're, uh, we're weak, uh, we're tired, we're weary, and uh, we may be uh, just uh, post-surgery and uh, attempting to recover our strength. And that spiritual surgery has reminded us of how heavy our heart can get when we're not close to the Lord. And then down a, a little bit further in verse number 8 of Psalm 39, he says, Deliver me from all my transgressions. Make me not the reproach of the foolish. And we're reminded about our message Sunday, that this is one of the places of our recovery. To say, okay, Lord, I've spent time with you. I've wept and I've fasted and I've repented and I've made things right. And now, Lord God, I need a new beginning with you and tear off everything. I'm going to anoint myself and have a new beginning. That's not the Holy Spirit's anointing, of course, and the calling out, but it is uh, uh, for us a, a, uh, an anointing or a new beginning with the Lord in a place of recovery. And I thank the Lord for that. Because when he says, I was dumb, I opened up my mouth because thou didst it, he is, and I and you have to, recover, have to realize that God is the one who is going to bring back this recovery, but we have to, on our end, realize and repent over what we have done wrong with the Lord. And as David's repentance brought him to a place where he said, recover strength in me, Lord, recover strength, we need that spiritual strength back. So I just want to finish this up with a highlight verse right in the middle of this Psalm 39. Psalm 39, verse 7. It says, And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Why do you and I wait so long or uh, delay for so long God's recovery process, God's recovery purpose in our lives, and how God, our Lord God, wants to say and do that recovery work after the open heart surgery where repentance has come, the forgiveness has come, and everything now is new and fresh in the Lord. And he's saying, put your hope in me, Mark. Put your hope in me, believers, saints. Put your hope in me, the Lord says, because I am the one who will take care of your burdens. I am the one who is meek and lowly. The Lord Jesus Christ told us that we should come to him because his burden is light, his yoke is easy. Thank you, God, for reminding us that my hope needs to be in thee. Psalm 39 verse 13 is what we started out with, realizing, oh, spare me that I may recover strength before I go hence and be no more. And then we're reminded of some of the things we go through as David lays them out in that Psalm. But right in the middle of that Psalm 39, there's the verse seven that just sticks out and highlights what really needs to go on in my life. I need to put, you need to put, we need to put our hope in thee. And now, Lord, what wait I for? My hope is in thee. Put your hope in him, and that will be your strength. He will recover strength in you, and we will have spiritual strength in the Lord to continue to press forward and finish the course by faith that the Lord has laid before us. Thank you. Thank you, God, for allowing us to live this life filled with hope in thee.